Good morning, Van Nuys! He said Van Nuys. <sighs> and welcome back to the Cinema Shook. We're here, we're here. Watching Sleaze, Grease, and Cheese. Sleaze, Grease, and Cheese. But today... What would you consider this? I've never seen this. Ever. Well, I've never seen it either. So right, we are so we going to shit do about it. a movie that neither of us have ever heard of, neither of us have ever seen, and it's going to be quite an entertaining approach to our shack sleaze process for most of you, actually. Because how hard is this to find? Well, uh, oh, uh, by the way, it's called uh, 1980s Don't Answer the Phone. Don't Answer the Phone. And actually, it's got an exclamation point in the title. Oh, yes. Yeah. For whatever reason, this one doesn't. So I, yeah, yeah, you, I don't know how you guys got it. You might be watching. Don't forget to get the one with the exclamation point. Get the one with the exclamation point. Mm -hmm. That's how we roll. Yeah. Uh, You'll probably, I think it's one of these movies that may be a public domain, but. It looks like they're owned by a lot of different... Like, this is on yeah, a, 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 a... Compilation disc. Yeah, like um, Mule Entertainment or something like, like that. You yeah. know, it's like Mule Creek Entertainment, I believe. Yeah, they're known. They're known. So they're yeah. known. But yeah. then it, uh, Rhino... Own, like, there's a production company yeah. called Rhino that owns it, too. So. I wonder if Rhino is the same as the, uh, the music uh, distribution company. Probably. I don't know. Probably. Anyway. Yeah. Probably. Rhino Records. Rhino Records, yeah. yeah. It's probably somehow like a subsidiary or something. All right, folks. So we are going to get this started because I'm really excited to see what this is about. We don't know anybody in it. (laughs) There's nobody in it, We will look up throughout the movie. If something captures us, we'll find out a little bit about these babies. All right, folks. Here we go. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and start your DVD. Don't answer the phone. Don't answer it. All right, here we go. Wow, this already looks VHS. Whoa. Oh, Media Entertainment. You know, they were the original uh, distributors was... for Nightmare on Elm Street. I remember seeing that Well, logo. this was all through the 80s. This is yes. what you saw. Absolutely. Media Home Entertainment. It was like the first of VHS. Look at that. That's awesome. That's, that's incredible. I think they took this off of a VHS. We already like this movie. <laughs> wow. Oh, Crown, it's Crown International. International. CIP. Yeah. CIP. See me, P. See me, P. Oh, look at this guy. What? Holy the shit, fuck? he's greasy. Oh, I know this dude. I've seen we've seen this guy. He usually has a shaved head. Yes. He was in Heartbreak Ridge. So uh He was at the beginning ben, with uh Clean Sweet. He says, Come on, does this not me remind you of a certain movie that you were just in? Could this be Into the Devil's Reach? It has oh it does. It has some Into this the is Devil's exactly Reach. Exactly what it starts off it's as. It's got like yeah. well, it's very similar, <laughs> satanic, yeah. Satanic. Really something, satanic. Yeah, something going on here. And Okay, so put yourself in nineteen eighty and seeing this. Uh are you freaked out? I think so. Yeah. Well, this is definitely oh, I mean, God, wasn't there nasty. in the early eighties, wasn't there some kind of um like cult, uh, a cult, or or no, it was a fascination with the occult. Oh yeah, yeah. It was Ooh, like castle film. So hammer, yeah, as the hammer, hammer films. films. Yeah. Wow. I think it's a sun. Let me let me take a look. See, look don't answer the phone. Point. That means don't answer the phone. Don't answer that motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, this was shot a in nurse. L.A. By the way, it was what? Ooh, nurse. This was shot in L.A. So we're looking at um, L.A. in 1980. Fuck yeah. All shots of the killer on the prowl in the streets of Los Angeles were filmed without a permit. We can do that. Now, apparently, well, 1980, you can. Well, what's the <laughs> difference between now? then and now, huh? Yeah, it's 2019. Ben Frank. Ben Franklin? This was made under the title The Hollywood Strangler. Mm. I wonder what his killing um, uh, method is. Oh, oh here nurse. we go. What? This, I, this is great. Oh, my God. Hold this on. is great. Oh, sh- take those panties off. Ben, this is what we do. Take those panties we, off. Uh, oh, she's wearing pantyhose. Oh, that's what those were, not oh. panties. Well, pantyhose. it's working its way. Oh, come on. That was shitty. Pamela Bryant. I've heard of her. Let's take a look. What has Pamela Bryant done? Oh, damn. 
Damn, she just yeah, she's, she's just right. hanging there. Yeah. She's not very good. Mm-mm. Was this based on another movie? She just just hang in there. She don't care. Just let that shirt be open. Look at that. Well, she. Ugh. Well, technically, we're not even supposed to be in this room. Oh, we're in it. Oh yeah, we're watching. We're watching right now. Ooh. We're just looking at her. Sexy. That's all we're doing is just looking at her. Oh yeah, we don't need to hear what she's talking about. Oh, she's talking <sighs> to mom. Great. That's a weird thing to have in your head now. Wait, uh-oh. How did he get in there? God. So Robert Hammer, this is his only movie he's ever done. Oh, shit. Really? The only thing he's ever directed? Yeah. Wow. According to IMDb. Is he doing anything else like reason. produced? Does he Nothing. produce? That's it. He doesn't do anything <laughs> else? Nothing. That's it. This was it. Now, okay. So it's not the same Hammer Nin- films. <laughs> okay. No, it's not. But 1980, or ca- Castle, come to think of it. Yeah. But um, 1980, you make this movie and... Well, same year as Maniac. You really... Oh, yeah, it is. See... Kind of the same premise, too. It is, but and you have to remember the time period. So, like, you know why slashers were so good in the 80s? Why is that? And movies like that? Because... Serial killers were the big thing. Oh, here we go. Like, oh, he fuck. He kills her, and then he screws her. Oh, shit. Wow. That's so grotesque. This is just n- grisly. By the way, the DP on this was born in Van Nuys, California. Van James Nuys. L. Carter. Oh, check this out. We get to see L.A. in the 80s. I wonder if that's the valley. That... A lot doesn't change in the valley, let me tell you. James Carter also shot The Taking of Beverly Hills, which oh, is a very underrated movie. Where is movie. this? Oh. That looks like... I'm trying to figure out what that says. Is that... Hey, it's the Bee Gees. Damn. The Bee Gees on the billboard. <laughs> this is real Look damn. Look at this. I love it. <laughs> Sounds like my angle, doesn't it? I'm a photographer. I'm a photographer. <laughs> Get in my car with my camouflage yeah, jacket. Yeah, with my camouflage jacket. And we'll go up to the mountains somewhere. That's Flo. Dr. Lindsay Gale is Flo Lawrence. Okay. Has Flo been in anything else? Oh, she's in the Lords of Salem. So it looks like uh, so she's been Rob Zombie. How many of, things has she done? Has she has she just been working? Twenty three things. Oh, she's only done twenty three things. But she kind of re resurfaced Appeared, because yeah. of Rob Zombie. Yeah, Lords of uh, the Lords of Salem is a Rob Zombie film. There's a lot of talk show kind of weirdness back then too. A lot of people like this radio talk show. Um, right. I think because uh, Clint Eastwood's movie. Um, what is that? Uh, Play Misty for me? Play Misty for me. Yeah. We all kind of fell in love with the, well, I mean. The nighttime people. Well, the fog know, the had that. Yeah, the fog it's did just, have that. It's yeah. just what it is is yeah. that it's, it's. Easy to get exposition out? Yeah, you can get exposition out and you have a cool location. You know, you have yeah. like a very specific location to use. Um I mean, 1980, this guy's car and his jacket and his look, I mean... It's like taxi driving. Yeah. It's so creepy because, I mean... Kanye West? Look at this. Is that what that yeah, is already? West, all right. Are you kidding me? He they foretold it, the future. He yeah, he was only born in 1987, Con- I believe. Kanye West. So this is yeah. Sunset Strip, right? The Strip? I believe so, yeah. Look at this I mean, place. this doesn't This is even, cool. This almost looks like... Vine Street, Hollywood? going uh, uh, and and or, Sunset yeah. is just south of us here, so right oh, up there is uh, Hollywood. Right. I don't know if it is, but it it. it you know, um, 1980. I believe Richard Ramirez was the nighttime stalker. During the, the night 80s. stalker, yeah, yeah, the night stalker. Well, that's when. Listen, 1980 is when. Uh, yeah, you had Rich Ramirez, but look at what you just went through. You had John Wayne Gacy. Oh, yeah. You had, um, uh, 
uh, Henry, I can't remember. Henry, oh, Henry Lucas. Henry, yeah, yeah. Henry Lee Lucas. And yeah. you had Son of Sam. And he had. Yeah. And. What the fuck is he's called? Well, he's calling up to mock them. Oh, they, I they see, can't yeah. find that. Much so, like the the Strangler, uh, Richard Ramirez. Well, what, and when that, and as that stuff was so popular, almost so rock star ish. Yeah. Then that's, you had the, the floodgates open for horror. Because slashers are always people. Yeah. And that's what makes it scary is that these oh, yeah, are people normal, yeah, killing. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? The um, It's got a Son of Sam field as well. Yeah. So uh, this ha- uh, Richard Ramirez was after this movie, though. So I wonder if he didn't see this and be like, hey, it's a great idea. Well, they knew, but I guarantee you they knew that there was a serial killer. Oh, yeah. You know, that there was a serial rapist and killer. They may not oh, have not yeah, yeah. gotten him yet, but they, they got that the was still... Idea, yeah. Yeah, he was, was still, operating for four years before that? Yeah. Oof. Yeesh. Until they found the first, uh, the murder, yeah. I guess. So it's oh, like, it's just God. a fascination at that time. Okay, so in 1980, as a woman, not me as a woman, right. but <laughs> as a woman, you see this, would you just be like, okay, I got to buy a gun? I gotta buy something like I mean this guy. We have now. I think seen so. This guy. Yeah, I think if. Uh, I, yeah, absolutely. And I then think that we're if you still went dealing... to go see this, and you went to see Maniac, which was the same yes. year. Yes. Yeah. 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 Same year. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Was, yeah. Well, that was eighty four. But either it, way, yeah. It, it, you you have all these serial serial killer type. Yeah. My God. Mass murder type. And then know. it actually happening in real life. It's exactly. Brutal. I think you see this. If you're a woman and you want to go get a gun. Oh, yeah. You trust no one at this point. Anyone with a military. And you know what, though? You have a lot of Vietnam veterans returning, right? They, 75 is the end. I was five just years talking later. about that the other night with somebody. Uh, st- uh, some movies called Street Trash. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, Who's in Street Trash? Nobody, but it's a yeah. New York early 80s type movie but one of the the crazy people in it is like a vietnam, vietnam vet. vet yeah and rambo it's always vietnam vet yeah all that stuff was yeah. big that combat shock that i've been wanting to bring over hey watch. trix 35 millimeter combat shock which i wanted yeah. to see sometime that's a vietnam vet and it's just a it's, psycho they, movie you know they have a very low opinion of vietnam veterans well here's what i want to know why are we not seeing the uh iraq war version of we that? will We'll you know, get we to have, it. But we haven't seen it, though, and it's been over for we'll, years now. We'll get to it. I think because maybe it's too too early, and unfortunately, the PC culture, um, you know, it's hard to uh, talk down to the, uh, the the vets. Oh, yeah. In in 1980, they didn't give a fuck well, about they, them. They were burning the flag. Yeah, they, they, were, yeah, they didn't give a fuck. They yeah. were like... You know, fuck these baby killers. Apocalypse and, now yeah. had already come out, and so it's it, like, oh, A lot shit. of this is like mocking the Vietnam You're vets, right. if anything, you know? Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Where do you think they find these people back then? The actors? Yeah. Man, that's the sad thing, is that that's how great it was to be an actor Yeah. back then. Because you could be popping up in these little movies... That, Nobody's ever heard of you. Yeah. But because you're uh, pretty decent, yeah, yeah, we'll get this guy in there. And you make some good money. It's a big deal back then, you know? Okay, so... As opposed to now, it's just not the same This thing. is like, I mean, you think about Manhunter. What was what year was Manhunter? 86. Okay. 85? So this guy is basically the Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Yeah, absolutely. Because he's like getting in physical shape, even though he's not. I don't even think that book was released yet. Yeah. Yeah. I could be wrong about that. I mean, but I don't. I, this, this is 1980. Is I don't think that Red Dragon yeah. had been released. Look at that. This is way ahead of its time. Hey, the Valley. The Valley Free Clinic. Is that here? Is that <laughs> in the Valley? I, I hope so. I haven't seen Free Clinics in a long time. Not that I'm looking. I see them. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The one that I you take s- people there to, <laughs> Do you? in my lift job. I Bullshit. take people to free clinic. Really? I have. Oh yeah. my god, that's fucked up. And then I um, wash. And then I get and sleep <laughs> yeah. in the back seat. Yeah. Starts sniffing the seat. Mm-hmm. When I was a, uh, when I lived in Hollywood, I lived right next to the free clinic, and every Sunday you saw a line. Oh. You saw a line outside of it. Whoa. It was gross. Whoa. 
They were the dregs of Hollywood. It, wow. It lined, it lined it all the way from one side to the Tommy Burger. Mm. Do not that. eat at that Tommy Burger. Do please. not eat at the Tommy Do Burger not. on uh, on uh, Bro- Bronson. It's Ugh. on Bronson in um, Hollywood. Ugh. It's technically Hollywood Boulevard. I know what you're talking about, though, yeah. That. There used to be a free clinic now. Now it's the Museum of Death. I love the Museum of Death. That's where it was. That's was a, where the free clinic well, I get, was. I lick that floor yeah, every time there. I'm there. Oh, God. And not just because of the filthy pictures. I got I to, yeah. I got to check. Wait, there are filthy, filthy Dude, pictures in there? there? I got to go see it. It is Disgusting. Dude, we're going. Disgusting. I want to so go. Awesome. I'll go again. Easy. I my friend it's, Allie wants to go. There's pictures of just Hi, like Allie. the worst murder scene. Oh really? People like uh, somebody's dick cut off and shoved in their mouth. And oh just like, wow. Uh, you know. So like what's the, the, the bad stuff? Oh, <laughs> it, 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 the bad <laughs> stuff is. It's, you know what's weird about that? Else. What? What's weird about that is we've seen so much like gore and and violence that it probably looks fake to us. Yeah. It's still pretty real. It's real. I mean, yeah. it, it, when you go into the autopsy room and the autopsy videos are playing, oh. like that's I can't stand righteous. That. I can't. Stand that, that is righteous. You're just seeing skin, oh. being, the face being peeled off. They have video of that. Oh, it just plays on loop. Oh god! On this anyway, TV in there, let's and get back I just to sit the there and stare at it. <laughs> I just watch. I'm like, good. Let's Lord. get back to the movie. Hair wise, I love the feathered I love look. It. I do too. Yeah, Farrah Fawcett. Nineteen eighty, man. Nailed it. You know so what's what funny play? is when you she see. Like well, you know what's just... funny is when you see. Uh, the, you know what the difference is is when you see remakes of movies yeah. that are or, or movies that are year. set in the eighties, yeah, yeah. and they try to do that. that hair, it yeah. looks too perfect. It looks too perfect. Yeah. Whereas that was just it's natural. Right. Yeah. It was a natural. Film. Yeah. You know that a little frizzy. Whenever they try to also replicate the look, it doesn't have this gritty, gross sort of like washed out look either. Exactly. There's something about this that doesn't exist, uh, no matter how you try to replicate it. Well, okay, I'm going to say something that might be nuts. Now let's hear it. Now. But just just give it 15 seconds after I say it. All right, it go Before ahead. you burn it down. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to burn it down. Yet. Could it possibly be that when you're filming, especially exterior shots in 1980 Los Angeles, that it's going to look different because of smog, because the air oh. quality was so much yeah. dirtier than, no, that's than good it point. is now? Yeah, look at the cars here in this. I just wonder, is, is These that not the part Carter. of what you're capturing? You, well, yeah, it's the Carter years, you know, before he, he shut that shit down. And then now, you know, yeah, no. Possibly, possibly. I yeah. mean, because if you shoot a movie down in real Mexico, real Mexico, I mean, they're smoggy. Yeah, it's, it's going to be dirty. It's going to have that. It's mm-hmm. your. It's going to be even though you may not see it. Yeah, it's when in you there. Get it yeah. on camera. There's something. There's a certain air to it. Yeah, like every time you see a movie shot in Canada, it has a certain air to it. It does for some reason, and that's that, a very valid point. That's actually. that's and that right there is why film. Is better than digital. Yeah. Because digital, everything is clear. Yeah. With film, it's going to actually capture the quality of the of air. It. Yeah. Look at that. So broad daylight, this guy is going straight to the, uh, straight to raping. Fuck yeah. Killing and then raping. Fuck. Look Not raping she's and doing killing herself. She's yeah. oh fuck. She loves herself. I. Oh my. You know this God. is like. She. This is <laughs> the what music girls cues are great. do when they're by I, themselves. You know it. They just yeah, girls. We know what, what you I, do now. I you know just, now. Uh, yeah, according to uh, don't answer the phone. Which, by the way, who is call? What what is the purpose of don't answer the phone? Like, does the killer just call you before he kills you? Have we missed it so far? <laughs> well, he called in the radio station. We did see he called in the radio station, yeah. but he hasn't to called talk to a psychologist. Yet. He hasn't called the victims yet. I haven't seen him do that. So I wonder what don't answer the phone means. I mean. You, Damn. <laughs> Fuck. She's going to kick some ass. I like her. I like her. You know, again, as we said last time, I think, you know, like, in any time back then when you were, when you said, okay, I'm, I'm going to make a movie, do you want to be in it? Most of the times these people are, are like, privileged, they feel privileged to be in a movie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh my God, that's brutal. She's holding on to the pear. Oh my God, this oh was my the one God. that was touching herself. I know. Don't do this to her. She was. She was touching herself. She was gonna. Well, give he was watching show. though. 
I know. She was going to give us a show. Don't look at her. Don't hurt God, her. God, this is so brutal. Don't hurt her. I don't do, I do not. Do it. Don't no, what do you do? Oh my god. I do not condone this. Jesus Christ. Wow. This is sleazy. And keep in mind, shit. this is definitely before. This is definitely before. This is sleazy god. as fuck. Oh god. It's torturous. It is. And he's not even, oh, oh my God, her tits yeah. hanging out. Oh, God. This is brutal. <laughs> wow. We're not laughing because of that. We're laughing because it's very uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable. Wow. Listen to And him. you wonder why uh, Hammer hasn't directed anything since. He probably, People probably watch this like, we got to burn his house down. Got to burn this guy's house down. Listen to what he's saying. He did some research. He's saying daddy wants his little baby. Dude, he did some research on this, according to IMDb. Fuck. I'm creeped the fuck out right now. Oh, dude, he is creep. Wow. What's he doing? He's lighting a candle? I don't... I mean, this is... It's got me on edge, but I'm like... I don't. Oh my God! Look at her. She's just hanging out. Oh, he's gonna burn some wax on her. Oh my God! <sighs> he's gonna put some wax on oh, her. Fuck. Oh, he's sacrificing her. That pantyhose on the face is just weird as shit looking. Yeah. Look at looks this. Looks like a pig. Look at her. Look at her. Looks oh like a boar. What are you doing to her? Okay, so this film was inspired by a series of brutal murders that were committed in the 1970s in California by Kenneth Bianchi. Oh, wow. That's and Angelo the, Bueno. The Bono. Hillside Stranglers. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you knew that. Yeah. Good call. I know my serial killers, man. Yeah. <laughs> Taxi Driver has a disturbed Vietnam veteran, Travis Bickle, who has, tries to assassinate the president and goes on a killing spree at the end. As a crazed Vietnam Kirk. Kirk Smith stalking and murdering the women of Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. So they draw the same conclusion we did, which is they deal with Vietnam veterans coming back and having um, what we know now as PTSD. Back then, it was just called uh, lacking to rape. Yeah. Yeah. Just what did they used to call that? Rape? No, no. When people came back from war, they just said, ah, he's a little touched in the head. Oh, shell shock. Shell shock. There you go. Well, so. there was shell. Carlin had a bit that was funny because he, it used to be like in the 50s. Oh, yeah, the words. Shell, yeah, shack, yeah. shell shock. Yeah, the words that go down. And it just yeah, kept yeah. going further and further desensitizing yeah. or whatever. They're just words. Gail Jensen, who plays a slim blonde model whose home Kirk Smith strangles. Kirk Smith's the guy with the pantyhose, the, the yeah. big fat guy, killer. After talking his way into her home, pretending to have been scheduled to photograph her, married David Carradine and was his wife until she died from complications of alcoholism. So wow. that first murder, the first murder girl, the murdered girl, was married to David Carradine Whoa. before she died of when alcoholism. When she died? How old was she? Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, the Hillside Strangler was the influence of this then. Huh. Interesting. But, yeah, like you were saying earlier, though, I mean, you were asking about the actors. and I mean, they, there was so much work, like so many movies getting made all over the place, and there was so much – there was enough money to pay people. Yeah. Like this dude's getting paid – he might be making two hundred dollars a day, but that's two hundred dollars a day in nineteen eighty. Yeah. That's like six hundred. That's six hundred dollars now. Um, Joe, uh, just a, yeah, uh, that is scale. Six hundred was scale. Yeah. You know. Okay, so just to let you know, Gail Jensen was um, sixty years old when she passed away. Oh. Died in two thousand ten. She was in a bunch of Fall Guy episodes. Um, okay, so I'm curious about the the um, the serial killer. Because he's he's actually pretty good. He was in yeah. Heartbreak Ridge. He was he had that great scene. He was also in. Um, His name is Nicholas Worth. He was in uh, Dark Man. Yes, he is. The yeah. call Polly. So Dark Man. yeah, Dark that's Man, right. Heartbreak Ridge. That's right. He has that face. He played yeah. that the heavy yeah. in a lot of things, but not like but not your main heavy. 
Yeah. Your secondary heavy. Well, he almost looks like George the Animal Steel. He does, but mm-hmm. he's ripped. He he obviously works out, you know. Yeah. He... Listen to that music. Yeah. Some good stuff, man. Would you consider this schlock? What do you, would you consider this? This is they're taking themselves very seriously. Yeah, it's serious. Yeah. It's definitely serious. It's there it's definitely inspired by all of the slashers within the past couple of years between that and so between Halloween and this it's very inspired by that yeah. and i almost want to say that because it's so close to maniac yeah. The movie Mania, it it's yeah. somebody knew something about one of the productions. How does Maniac become cult and this didn't? It's better made. Maniac, you think Maniac is, is better Maniac made. Maniac is a better made movie and it has huh. better quality kind well, of the all actor around. for sure, yeah. The actor He's definitely well Tom known. Savini. Oh, right. right. Uh, but this was really before they even knew him though. That was Tom Savini before Tom. Well, he did. Yeah. He had done no, Dawn of the right. Dead. You're, no, you're right. I mean, he, he did do Dawn of the Dead, but he was yeah. not the main dude on Dawn of the right. Dead. He was one of the... But how does this become... How does that become something and this not so because much? Because he did, in, in one year, Tom Savini did, in, same, in this year, 1980, he did yeah. Maniac, uh, Friday the 13th, yeah. the original. 80, yeah. Um, Let's just assume they shot it in 79, you know? I mean, this this is Probably. another one of those fear-based movies where you watch and you're just like, oh, man, this is freaky. You know? It is. Like God, Dirty Harry. It's, there was, there was a... Serial killers were huge in the 70s, huh? They were huge. <laughs> no, that, that is absolutely true. <laughs> Since the late 60s up to oh this point, God. they were huge. Yeah, what was it about? It's just like how... Uh, school shootings are so big and prevalent now. That's you think how... people are influenced by it? Hmm? Like they get influenced. Hey, Alien in there the theaters. So that's 1979. So it's yeah. filmed in 79. 79, yeah. They, th- th- where's it? Where are we here? There's a lot of la- uh, locations there. Yeah, that's Hollywood. I'm, that's that's all, still I'm, there. Yes, that sign is still it, there. Yeah, it's right here. That's the entrance yeah. of, the, uh, of the freeway. Yeah, right assuming that's what, yeah. So this is Hollywood Boulevard right here. Wow. He's got his van. I got to get my van yeah. so I can do this shit. Does he have a van? No, he has a... Oh, no, he doesn't have a yeah. van. Maybe I should get a car like that. Yeah, a no. Fucking awesome, <laughs> badass, big Buick or oh, something. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. Main event. Like I don't 10 know. miles a gallon? Six. <laughs> yeah. A Rolls Royce gets eight. It what? A Rolls Royce gets eight. And well worth it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't ever see him. <laughs> Being driven. My buddy has one. We got to drive around in that thing. What is this? Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> See, this dude, for this, what this dude for ended it. up doing is he shaved his head, and that saved his career. That really made his career, because that's what he mm. has. Right. He's the shaved head dude in, for the rest of the 80s. Right. Uh, and it just makes him look more scary. Imposing. Yeah. He's got this... Look how char- like charming he can be, you know? Yeah. That's what they're trying to disarm. Well, he's well-spoken. Yeah. He's very well-spoken. And he's white. And he's so white. So people don't assume the worst. Well, and he looks like a... Fa- he, yeah, balding, the, yeah. and he just seems yeah. like... Uh, kind of like... You a, wouldn't want to... Yeah, you wouldn't kill him. Can you um, elaborate on the Hillside Strangler information? Sure. You? I mean, I, I don't know a ton about it, but it, it's those two guys... Oh, my God. Uh, for the longest... Oh, it is. That is... Oh, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> I mean, I don't know much except for that they, uh, like one of the bodies they dropped off. It was tandem, right? They had it was it was two, two of them. Guys, they yeah. thought it was just one for a while, right? And they realized Did they worked together. Two. Oh yeah, they worked okay. together, raped them, killed them. Wow, it was insane. Well, this guy tends to kill and then rape. Right. Well, some of them might have killed them. Was one of them a photographer? 
That I don't know. Um, I know that I. I know some people have used that tac tactic. One of the bodies they found in Glendale. Yeah. And you can still visit the side of the road there where they found that body. And oh, I mean, it look, it's the exact same. Oof. You know, it's just it hasn't been built over or anything. Like that. Damn. Yeah. Oh, this is about to get sleazy. Oh God. Too. Oh my God! This is about to get sleazy as fuck. See, this doesn't work for me either, Vince. Why? Whenever I try to do this, oh, it doesn't. Get a model, and I go, "Hey," especially with you, I go, "Hey, do you want to put on these chains and these handcuffs and stuff?" And I say, "No." Yeah, I yeah. Because I know you. No. I know you, Strangle Tom. You. You sleazo, oh, you that was what that clue was when they went to that house. He had a a box, um, a film box, when they went to the um, the first victim's house. They had a, a label for a film, for oh, Tri-X yeah, film. that's right. That's so right. now they're trying to figure out that, okay, well, he, is, what's he, the his tactic is, yeah, photography. I mean, you do How see... How do you talk? You know, listen, Tom, you see, though, yeah. the difference between this and Maniac, the, stylistically... Oh, this is cleaner. Y no. To me, it's cleaner. Ma well, it, it might be cleaner, but it's not Maniac is so low... Rent. It, it's, it's low rent, but there's a. Rent. It's stylized. It's very stylized. With well, the music. a lot of it's handheld. You know, this there one you. seems like everything is like static and. Whereas this produced. is just it, it. It has a little more flatter yeah. kind of feel to it. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, but that. But and, what and I was the say guy is, like, is out off the hook. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. But look at oh, my oh god. god. I mean, look, okay. this, is, this this dude is All twisted right. as fuck. I mean, there's no there's no difference really. Yeah. Jesus Christ. See, that's pretty ruthless. Fuck. That is sleazy as fuck. Look, at, look him. at him. He's great. This is sleazy as fuck. Right. Wow, man. This, this collection belongs He's saying to I love it. This collection belongs to Vince. What? This is your DVD. Oh, it is. I own it. <laughs> I'm never giving it up. <laughs> no. See? So look, Hillside this Strangler, they find yeah, the body that's on the right. hillside. That's so. um, in Copycat, I believe they... Um, they try to replicate that look too. I wonder where that is. A uh, Dodger Stadium? Oh, that's Dodger Stadium. Or is that Dodger Stadium? That's Dodger Stadium. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, that's So we're in uh that looks... Cha Chavez Ravine? Yeah, we're in Griffith Park basically. Oh, Griffith Park. Yeah. So the other thing is like this whole uh, okay, Maniac. Um now that we're comparing the two, uh Maniac is told from his perspective. Mm -hmm. The serial killer's perspective. Where it's not here this. is just yeah, it's bouncing around between the cops trying to catch the killer. Maybe that's why that's the big difference between the two is that yeah. in Maniac you have a clear cut who you're following. Yeah. In this, we get him, yeah. but we've also been with the police, uh, you know the, the police. Yeah. We've been. So the, it's kind of hard to, to get who yeah. who do we want to care for? He's good. He is. Wow. Too bad he could never break from that ogre look. Ogre, yeah. the 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 heavy part. I mean, you know? he's not because in Dark Man, remember he's the the shaved one that uh, Dark Man um, uh, copies his face and is him for a few. Yeah, but he's not like. I mean, he looks like um, what's his name? Um, Mel. Oh, fuck. What's his name from um, uh, Doctor Giggles? Oh. Uh, the main Larry Drake. Larry Drake. But I he, bet you anything. He got probably Larry Drake probably got all his roles whenever they were looking for some serious guy that looked like well, that. Well, then in Dark Man, Larry Drake, Larry Drake is, yeah. is Durant. And this, right. And he's, so it's the same guy. Yeah, that's what so I was he's like. like Man, yeah. I lose to Larry Drake again. Yeah. L.A. Sure. could have been mine. <laughs> I mean, come on. He looks like Larry Drake, and that dude could have done. Yeah. I gotta say, I mean, on paper, everything about this is kind of cool. It is. You know what I mean? Like, how isn't this... Well, it's probably remade in so many ways. I'm but... Sure. Um, and and influenced them. But I've say. never seen it. You've never I've seen never it. I've never seen We've it. We've never heard about it. And nobody's ever moved on to anything big Nobody except, except for that one yeah. dude. But even then, you don't know his name. Yeah. This is incredible. It's an incredible find. Yeah. Good find. I. You know what else, though? <laughs> like, watching these movies... Especially from this era, and especially these obscure, I really like, like, um, watching. You can almost see the production behind it, and I kind of like that feel. Like that, yeah. You can see where they 
kind of cut corners and they, you know. Oh, yeah, you, you, know, you see the budget. Absolutely. And then him stalking is him sh- them shooting without a permit, right? which is great because it's like you get but to see the locations. And that, but that, Real locations. <laughs> I don't know. So she she's a psychologist. This is great. Mommy. So she's supposed to be an addict? She's an addict. So yeah. this is some kind of weird therapy? psychotherapy. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like fucked up shit. Isn't that how they, like, uh, you remember in The Master, when he keeps yeah. saying the same thing over and over again? It's or ask the that. same questions? Absolutely. There's like a to get into Scientology thing with it yeah. all of a sudden. Hey, they were around back in 1980. Well, that's when it started blowing up. Yeah. That's when it, he was able to get all of those uh, books on tape. Yeah. And, and sell them. And, and he was able to buy all those spaces at night, the late night. Remember the late oh, night yeah. commercials oh, on God, USA? Yeah. Oh, God. Where it was, it was. Um, Did you see those in Alabama? Oh, yeah. Scientology ones? Because you can buy the, that time slot on USA. Okay. On that channel, they were, you could, he was able to buy. Uh, late night after eleven time slots, but after for every commercial break, right. and you would and you would see uh, Dianetic. Actually, it'd be later than that. It'd be like past midnight. Right. It'd be like in the early morning hours. Question for you. Yeah. Are you because this is like a? It looks like it's starting to be a police procedural. Are you okay with seeing the the murderer? Like, it's not like he's not a mystery. We know what he looks like. Because obviously in Maniac we do, in um, Manhunter we don't, and that's a police procedural. Because we don't see Tom Noonan until much later. No, you see him. Do we? Yeah, you see him throughout the movie. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. Because he's always has some weird stuff on his face. Or he's like, when he kills them, he puts stuff on the, his face. Okay. But you see him as a normal person. Okay, so it's kind of following the same template as... Uh, I, as Manhunter. I know but are you bothered? At, though. I know, are you bothered I, by I, seeing I, the murder? No. Okay. I mean, because the movie is going to be made in a certain way where you want to see the murderer. Okay. Whereas. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they'll they'll meet up somehow and he's like, because it's you a can't horror catch movie. him. A horror movie. What is he doing? He's a psychic. Oh, my God. He's trying to figure it out. And they did do use this, by the well, way. They did. Back they then. They did, anyway. Yeah. So. Um, so you're okay with seeing the murderer? It, it just depends on what. For example, a thriller like a cop and um, or a cat and mouse thriller. Yeah, there are great moments where, or there there are great examples where you don't see the, or you don't know who. Maybe you've seen them, but well, you seven. don't know who the killer is. Yeah, seven. Seven's a great example, yeah. and any that you may, you just don't know who it is. Those you don't want to know who it is, right? You want okay. to be. It's but like what's the clue. difference? You want to be in with the cops on the trying to figure it out. It's part of the experience of seeing the yeah. movie. A movie like this, though, you want to see. Just like you, people are fascinated with serial killers, like yeah. how can they do this? And they read about what they did to their victims, their imagination. Well, this is the type of movie oh, that lets you see kind of yeah, what yeah. is so you, going yeah, on. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, so that they get like. You see, like, he's so normal, you know? Look, he's got a job. He yeah. ph- photographs, and he's actually pretty good at it. Yes. And then like, yeah. what he does, and yeah. you really the see grotesque, it, yeah. in it. How he turns like that. And you know what's funny? Okay, 1980. We really haven't learned much because there's a lot of people who still fell for this shit. Where they just, you know... The psychic thing, or...? No, no, just, uh, you know, serial killers who are this, quote-unquote, oh, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, that's charming. gonna be forever though that people is so weird. will forever get duped by serial killers con men and mm. that's not their fault because they're good at it it's because the other people are yeah. so detached they're sociopaths right when you're a sociopath you can do anything in the world right because right. you have no moral and you know what's weird about that there's a fence. lot of you people have... who are attracted to that where they don't have that sort of filter the the you know, 
there is a sort of ballsy confidence to it where they just go up and you know can say what they want and they have a, a sales pitch. But they'll never know. They'll never know what love is. Yeah. You know, they'll never oh, be man, able so to feel up. feelings for other people. Cinnaram. That guy's a, another character actor. This dude. He's like Porky's, isn't he? Is that the sheriff? It looks like the sheriff, doesn't it? Check that out. Maybe okay. it is. Look so at look this at guy's that. outfit. He looks like a bowling ball in a <laughs> denim jacket. He's a good photographer. What can I tell you? If he's not the sheriff, he man, definitely he, looks he like him. He needs to play a sheriff. <laughs> Oh, imagine when you used to be able to make money uh, making smut. Yes, he is. That same, right. that, yeah, he, he is, is the same guy. That's the sheriff from uh, Porky's. Sleaze connected. <laughs> True. He's just got pictures of boobs everywhere. I love it. Yeah. Well, he's a smut peddler. Mm-hmm. Look at all the cigars in his pocket. <laughs> Think of it like this. The fat cat. Where do you think we are right now? Where do you this think has got to be Hollywood Boulevard. This has got to be Hollywood. Hmm. They just filmed this. They just probably sat in a van, which, by the way, oh, we yeah. now have a vehicle that we can shoot. Wouldn't you say that's Hollywood? or is? It, I don't think it's ah. Sunset. It might be Sunset, but... It just feels like Hollywood Boulevard. They just shot around. Oh, well, look oh, at this. That's definitely that's, Hollywood Boulevard. Is that, is that's that definitely that's, no, no, that's, that's Hollywood. Yeah, that's Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. I lived on that street. Smooth. They shot this in 18 days, by the way. Hell yeah. Again, that's yeah. what makes... They're having the most fun when you make the cheapest movies oh, like yeah. this. You're having the most fun because you're doing it just for the love. No, this, this is Hollywood. Yeah, this, this is, is definitely totally Hollywood. Hollywood. This that is, right that is the theater that used to show two movies for five dollars. We used to hang out there all the time. Is it, isn't yeah. it a strip joint now? Yeah. Well, there's one before it. It's right Universal before. It. Store. Ooh, a Hojo's. Remember those? What corner is that? Let's take a look. Is that Vine? That is Vine Street. Yeah. Is that what that says? Yes. No, no. It oh, it Vine. is. It's Vine. You, you're not listening. That's to what a I'm steer. Telling you. I think that's a Starbucks now. Hollywood and Vine. There's no, a Starbucks it's not, it's right not there. a Starbucks. It's a different kind of coffee shop. No, that's a Starbucks. Is it? On Hollywood and Vine. Hmm. All right. Let's see. God. Oh, he's on the hunt. Oh, yeah. He's he on looks the cunt big. Hunt. He's getting the CHA <laughs> award. Jesus. Cunt hunt award. It's thick. Let's see. Whoa! Oh, so they're hookers, huh? So he doesn't ho he doesn't kill hookers. Marital AIDS? What? I think they mean dildos. They're not talking about AIDS, like the disease, are they? I think they mean dildos. Oh, marital AIDS! I got that jacket. Yeah, that's my jacket. Yeah, that's my do. fucking jacket. Oh man. So he does kill hookers. Oh, I guess he does. He's not, he's non-discriminatory. So the hillside strangler, what they do? They just kill him and then throw him on a hillside. Yeah, strang uh, rape them, strangle them, throw them on the you know dispose their bodies. Wow. Mainly in the hills. I think a few were found like I think one was found in the river and, but most of them were found in the hillside. Wow. Oh, he fucks hookers. Good for him. This guy looks like Tony. What is his name? Tony something from uh, Rocky. Oh, yeah, his ring man. Apollo is like ring, ring man. Yeah. yeah, Tony something. He was great. <laughs> What's he doing in the back? Everything was good until that moment, man. 18 days. 
<laughs> Remember, 18 days. Oh, I have 18 days. And that's, uh, you think that's 18 straight days, including weekends? <sighs> I don't know. I think so. I think they are in L.A. and they're like, and they are not going to just stop. They are going to film for 18 days. Straight? Because they have to. They have to get it done. Yeah, plus they, every time you rent out gear, it's a problem. I mean, he really did the research on this, didn't he? Yeah. He used the coin to choke him to death. That's what uh, Joe Spinell... That's the strange thing that these two movies are both the same year. Because yeah. Joe Spinell did a ton of research on serial killers and built his own... Yeah. Who did he... Uh, what he, was his? It, well, his he stole the um, their scalps. Oh, okay. What was that from? That was his own creation. Oh, so he calls... A little he makes, bit of, Go ahead. Oh, he makes them call him up and then kills him. Wow, that's brutal. Anyway, go ahead. So if they don't answer the phone, he won't kill them. <gasps> Whoa. That's don't answer the phone. Yeah, exclamation point. Don't do it because so, if you don't, you'll, you'll live. So what, uh, what, Spinell, who did he base his character on? It, a lot of them. Yeah. It wasn't really just oh, one, God. but his, I think. Oh, God. Oh, God. Still twitching. Oh, man. I mean, he's good. He is just sleazy. So, um, wow. Now this dude is a motherfucker. Look at that jacket. Yeah. Tell me that jacket wouldn't be hot. Is that a jacket or a shirt? That sh- is it a shirt? It's a shirt. If yeah. it's a it's shirt, cuffs. that shirt would be shit hot these days. You know how many people would be wearing that thing? I think some people will try to find it. Oh fuck! Oh no! No oh, fuck! Wow, they went right to it. Went huh? right into yeah. this motherfucker. <laughs> shit! Don't cut the shirt. Don't Kick cut the balls. that shirt, motherfucker. Kick the balls. Oh shit! Oh, oh my God. God! Jesus Christ! Oh, okay. But he's not dead. Yeah, I don't think he's dead. But so then he could tell the cops what he. Well, I guess he couldn't because he's a criminal himself. How? He's well, let's say yeah, he's a pimp, right? So hey, one of my girls was killed by this guy. He's not going to tell the cops. Yeah, right? maybe you're right. They maybe keep it, he he's like, he'll just find another girl. To pimp out. They don't want him to. He don't want to lose that shirt. No, they don't want them that to, shirt. <laughs> they don't take oh, that you're shirt. a pimp, are you? Something's weird with her eyes. You see that? Yeah, I think she's kind of. She's got the sad look. That's one way to put it. <laughs> Wonky. So, um, the girl, the guy on the left. Yeah. The cop. The cop who, is supposed to be famous. He's supposed to be the lead here. Right. He's the okay. lead. I have no Why idea. Have no idea. But that's what we were saying earlier. Why is this, he in this not... time period? He he probably did. Do you have it pulled? Yeah, up? let's let's see, take a look at what he done. Many... What he has done. Sorry. What he has done. But okay, his name is James Westmoreland. Okay. Okay. He died actually three years ago. Okay, so he has like. Not much. Like he credits? doesn't stand out. <laughs> How many credits does he have? He has thirty six credits since nineteen eighty. That's not great. A lot so of he, TV. Did he? What was his very first thing? Okay, the very first thing before this, toward the unknown. Oh wow! From nineteen fifty six, he'd been acting. Okay, so he'd been acting before him, but I still know. God, who he that's is. long. I have no idea who he is. I mean. This is bizarre. Like, he is the lead actor in this movie. He's the lead. And he's, no, he's, and he's not a name. He's there's not a name. But there's so many of these. I mean, this thing yeah. that it came out of, I would literally, the second movie, couldn't tell you anybody. The wow. third movie. His career person. ended actually shortly after this, supposedly, according to this. So Don't Answer the Phone was in 1980. And the last thing he did was in 1984, or 1987. So seven years later, 
he, he, he's he, done. She's out. Yeah. Look, okay. Have you ever heard of Paul Muller, Helga Line, Patrick O'Neill? No, what's what's Walter that movie? Walter Abel. What's that movie? Mickey Hargitay. Oh, Mickey Hargitay. Yeah. That's a. Uh, uh, so you know that person. Yeah, he was married to. Dude, he was married to um, uh, Jamie Mansfield. Okay, so you, there, there's one. Yeah. Um, his his daughter is Mariska Hargitay, who's now on uh, TV. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. This is cool. Look at this. Look, pay attention to the movie. Oh wow. That's kind of cool. Psycho. It's so very I'm cool. just trying to figure out how. This is a really well, well made. Well, the reason I'm saying those names is these. This thing is full of names we've never heard of, and these are the leads. You know. Uh, yeah. I, I, let me, here, let me look at that disc here. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so. Well, House on Haunted Hill became famous because they remade it. Yeah, some of the I mean, some bucket of, those, of blood. Like, look, some of that stuff is like you know Vincent Price, Christopher yeah. Lee, but some of that like but but those they, they list like three names. What was the point of having? Um, this on a disc with the Hammer Horror stuff because this guy's not related to Hammer. I, it That's can't be. kind of weird, right? He couldn't be related. If he is, then he oh, is the this is ugly so stepchild that went off on his own. Um, where did you find this disc? Oh, I don't know. I found this. Oh, my, uh, my grandmother gave me this or somebody gave me this for a Christmas gift. It was my mom, I think, maybe, or my grandmother. Oh. But it was it was like five of these. Oh, okay. So it was like this one, and then a wow. zombie one, and the sci-fi, and then a Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So they just had a collection of these these movies. Right. Because Interesting. Th- th- that's why I'm saying, like, th- there are so many of these home entertainment that systems that there. have all these same movies. Well, again, why do you think this movie didn't take off? Look, don't look in the basement. Don't look in the basement. Uh, <laughs> oh, you have a double? Uh, yeah, it's... It, but these are... T- oh, Silent Night, Bloody Night, Silent Night, Bloody Night. Yeah. <sighs> but these are completely different. They're not with the same company. This wow. is from... So, hey, you know. why do you think this didn't do... Well... Yeah. This was a drive-in movie. This yeah. was a, a total grindhouse drive-in movie. Yeah. It... it Probably. Do you think, do you think I, we appreciate it just because we like Hollywood history? I think we appreciate it for that, but I also think we appreciate <laughs> movies being made. And yeah, because no matter we know how, how hard yeah, it how is hard to it make is. movies. Yeah. So back then, how they were making movies. But you said earlier, okay, so you said earlier that um, somebody here must have known production for Maniac was going on at the same time? Well, I was k- jesting kind of. I'm just saying they're so similar in a lot of ways. I wonder if they got a, a whiff of what Joe Spinell and the gang were doing, uh, or if Vice decided versa. to do it, a same thing. But at the same, but it, it, it's either that or it's just the old. Because Maniac was considered low rent too, though. Oh yeah, totally. So, but it was made for more than this movie was made. You think so? Oh yeah, Maniac was made for um, five mil. Oh no no, a uh, hundred and eighty. Hundred ninety thousand. <laughs> okay, well, th- come on. You don't think this was made for that? No. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, if you're take if you're shooting without a permit. Right. This, th- th- there's no. <laughs> but that was an East Coast movie. This is a West Coast movie. Yeah. True. Because that's a New York movie, right? True. I don't know if that makes a difference, but. <sighs> yeah. I mean, Hard to tell. You know, back then I don't though. Know that actually. Unions know. probably ran the movie business back east a lot. Uh, probably more <laughs> stringent than the West Coast. The, maybe, maybe, um, because like East Coasters are Teamsters. They're you know, F, you know. Out here, these were Teamsters. Yeah. I, here's the thing, though. I think this is easier to do out here because of the wide open spaces. Yeah. You know, especially back then. Yeah. If you shot something, so you could get I, away I with do it. think it's it's cheaper, but. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Who played? But this has a bigger cast. It does have. It's so a bigger movie. It it, yeah. it definitely has. It a, feels like a bigger movie. It does feel like a. So this might have been made for more. Do you, like, with Maniac, it's just on him mostly, right? Mostly. And then it's super dark. Like it's twisted. Yeah. I mean, the the murders in this are nothing compared to Maniac. And yeah. there again, the the murders in this are not as bloody. 
Yeah. Nowhere near as blatant. Oh, it's no. like strangulation. Look at this. More TNA. Now, I have a bunch of friends who do movies like this that just get like their friends to be in it and their friends happen to be like, you know, on the underground and they just look they look cool. Like this chick oh, looks yeah. cool. She does. I like her. This is a per yeah, uh, she's well, a she's girlfriend character. Of her she's yeah. very wabasabi. You know. Yeah, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Explain what wabasabi is. Wabasabi, I heard David Lee Roth say this. Wabasabi is Real something that is perfect because it's just a little fucked up. <laughs> You know, so your favorite I pair did, of jeans, I, you broke them in well. You broke them in well. You broke them in like you broke like that her. woman. That yeah. pussy. Um, I did notice something though. Here is another reason why Maniac did so well and is so re- well remembered compared to this movie. All right. The makeup effects. Oh yeah. That was uh, uh, Maniac was ahead of its time. Yeah. It was. There's nothing here. Vibrant. There's nothing yeah. here. And when you when Audiences are going to pay for what they want. They want gory. Oh, this one doesn't have yeah. it, but that movie Maniac does. Well, let's go see that. Yeah. Well, this has more tits in it. It does. And coke. <laughs> and coke. Look at that coke. <laughs> oh, oh God. fuck! I want to play this guy. Yeah, I think you already do. So there's the guy who got the bottle to the head. Is he American or is he Hispanic? I think he's supposed to be Hispanic. So that guy doesn't even talk about the gr- like the girl that just got murdered in his house, in his uh, whorehouse. What's Whoa. funny is okay. <laughs> no, he's Italian. Oh yeah. shit! Oh my god! <laughs> coke fight! No coke, coke fight! fight! Coke fight! <laughs> coke was a very expensive back then, wasn't it? Did you hear what he said? What did he say? He said, you dumb nigga. <laughs> That's what he just said. God. Oh, my God. Oy. This And she's doing the Oh, coke. yeah. You can't waste it. Look at, look at her. She's laughing. <laughs> she's laughing. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> she's somebody's girlfriend. Oh, God. He's committed, this guy. He's just collecting it. Yeah, don't go to waste. <laughs> God, this is funny. They just do two takes and they move on. This is great. Whoa. This is... Here's the comedy. <laughs> Why was... What, oh my what God. is the comedy no, here? This has what got is to be... This? This is Look, out man, of nowhere. You, this <laughs> is, <laughs> yeah, what, this is what the oh, fuck? I get it. It's, it's a, a brothel. Yeah, it's a brothel. But still, yeah. it's they're all their like the school teacher. This is trauma right teacher. here. This I know, has this a is trauma silly. feel. It's silly. Like a girl dressed up as a cop. I think this. Oh, is, the gay guy. Actually, you know what? I think this is that's trauma. trauma. This is, is it trauma? Yeah, I think it's uh, it, it's like early trauma. Wow. But, yeah, but it's not. That silly. It's silly, but it's not that silly. But you can kind of see with the little silliness there. I bet you they were they like, that you got a little comedy. Yeah. In. Here, here's a suggestion. Like this. Like this, yeah. I mean, the music got so goofy yeah. and everything. And then the gay dude came by with his, uh, pl- you missed it, uh, with his latex on, shouting something. <laughs> this is an up. insane movie. It's got everything you want. Whoa. He looks... He looks like uh, Robert Forrester. He does. It's got that. Well, maybe it's just the hair. I don't know. Whoa, <laughs> she's messed up. It's almost a little Cheech and Chong humor there, yeah. where she's like, "Hi," and then wow. it gets. Look at this, and then it gets God. to this. Serious as hell. They just fucking yeah. blow this guy away. My God. So he's the lead, and they they shot him. (laughs) 
That is some terrible dialogue right there. <laughs> yeah. That was terrible dialogue. He said, no, we've got to stay up all night and uh, complete these police forms. <laughs> they don't say that. They don't say we uh, got to do forms. Why would they even say that at all? Well, they, but th- that's not what they say. And, and when you hear them say, that, well, we got paperwork. Yeah. We got paperwork. I yeah. got to do the gotta paperwork. The they don't paperwork. say, we got, to com- we got to fill out these police forms. <laughs> Look at this fuck. <laughs> Who's he talking? Oh. This is very taxi driver. Yeah. Does he keep saying nigger? Yeah. Jesus. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is taxi driver. This is racist. This is what this is what you do at night, right? Vince? This is sleaze racist. It's what you do about your, uh... Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Man, oh! Man. He's, yeah. <laughs> He's all right. Shout out to Van Eyes. Van Eyes. Cinema. He knows what he... This was made for the shack here. It was. He was made for the shack. That's beautiful. Drinking that beer. Do you think you just they just let him go? So they say, hey, look. Yeah. Just say th- something. Oh, they here. totally let him go. They gave him an idea of what to say. It's pretty good. And he probably was living. He's probably an actor that was living in Van Nuys at the time. And that's why he yeah. threw out that Van there Nuys. There you go. What, did he, what if he was living like somewhere in the neighborhood? Yeah. You know, I think. Wait, is he still alive? Let's see. I'm sure, he's still alive. If he is, we got to get him. Now, why him. is he so? Like, he's not. I mean, as far as billing goes, he's not really up here. No, because he's. Like I said, he just started playing the heavy and everything. The second tier heavy, though. He but was even never in this movie. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh, so th- we're also following her story. So we got like three different That's stories to have to deal with. It's yeah. so that right there tells you there's like th- there's several things that have to occur to make a movie. Oh, Vince. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. He died in Van Nuys, California. Well, when? <laughs> in 2007. So he did live in Van Nuys, California. He, he, if so from 1980 at least until 2007, he was for so for Nicholas 30 Ward. years he was living in Van Nuys. There's a lot of people from Van Nuys. I just learned Diane Warren's from Van Nuys. Dude, there's a lot of people. Um, Here, tribute to that. Tribute. We're, we're, we've got our beers. Yeah. Ah, uh, seltzer beer. To the man. The Van Nuys man. Nicholas Worth. He's, Thank you for making Van Nuys. A, a poster of him shirtless on our wall. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for putting him on our, in our um, hearts, hearts and souls, and butts. Yeah, he had a pretty good career too. Uh, Marilyn Monroe went to Van Nuys High. Look at that Van Nuys. Just on the street. Van Nuys. Yeah. Well, you know, what I was saying though is, it does seem like there are several things. They're splitting it too much. It's just going way over. Yeah, several yeah. things going on, but what? I was, but several things about the movie that they went wrong went wrong for it um, profitability wise. Okay. So maniac, as, everything was more simplified. A simple he, story. They had the gore, a little bit of sleaze. This they were like it's way around. We got five too much or six too on. many things going on. Do you think? Um, do you think maniac came out before this? As far as they were came out the same year, but as yeah. far as like month wise, yeah, that I don't know. Because I wonder if like people just want to see Maniac because of the word of mouth. The poster was definitely cooler. Now the, that's the other thing. Great poster. Yeah, on it. you know that's how you used to sell things. That's yeah, yeah. that's how you sell things. I yeah. got to get that poster but, I showed you framed because poster art's another thing going out, it's just going yeah. away. You know, uh, you mentioned. Uh, uh, why Maniac? Your your reasons why Maniac did better. Mm-hmm. Um, marketing back then was word of mouth, and if I were to say watch that movie versus this one so far, 
you know, I could say, oh, well, uh, don't answer the phone. Uh, it's got a bunch of strangling, some tits. Yeah. Right. When I watch Maniac, some guy's head gets blown off. Right. You have yeah. you have these set pieces, you have these to murder see set pieces, and that's why I say it's more stylized because the set pieces are specific. Each of the murders are specific. Yeah. And yeah. And his crazy is like this guy's crazy. Yeah, you this know? guy's crazy, and he's good. Yeah, he's good. This guy's good. Yeah, same kind of crazy. It's just that the the murder set pieces are just strangling. Yeah, and there's nothing yeah, unique yeah. about them. Yeah, and they don't. They're not. Di- that's and right. That's, and that's when you go and look at slasher movies. Yeah, I mean, Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Streets. The two, the things that they both had. Yeah. Is that the murders? All, that was part of the movie. They all had to be different. Yeah, the murders had to be unique. How do we uh, beat well, the last murders? The, it was Michael word of mouth. Myers didn't do that. He no. tried to, but then it yeah. just by the time part four came around, it just became boring. Oh they yeah, that the became there's only a, yeah, so much slasher. he can do with a with a butcher knife. Yeah. Uh, whereas Jason was the machete was mainly his, but everybody knows he can kill in all these other ways. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, I mean, you know, when you watch this movie, it's like, yeah, I have nothing to tell you if I just came out, of, you know, of the theater. I go, what's well, a guy who strangles people? It's a serial killer movie. I mean, you might even say it was good. It was good. Yeah. It was like the dude well, who there's a, the killer's awesome and weird. But, and he, Okay, but, okay, so Maniac, though. But Maniac. The lore behind can, it is like they hired, they hired real porn stars. You have to check it out. They hired. Or they, there's or a you lot have of to see him. gory he's death. Peeling this, off you're peeling the, off the, the head the, face. Or the dude's yeah. head gets blown yeah, yeah. off. Or he sticks so, it right through her chest. Yeah, that's so much more of a um, selling point. They rip point. his head off. Yeah. You know? Oh, God, that's right. You know, but that was a that was a dream sequence or a, that really it's happened? It's the end of the movie. Yeah. It's, it, it's, well, it's you, a weird you know that fever dream or something. It, it, you know, that n- nothing good came of it. Right. Somebody's dying in that. See, they stopped the movie cold, this movie cold, to have this bullshit conversation. Right. Why? Who cares? Because she's but a But then they found out the formula. Because movies like this yeah. didn't do as well as movies like Maniac and Friday the 13th. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And they Went realized what we want, what the audience wants, Gory. is a single killer yeah. that we... Can talk to about see that we yeah, yeah that, that is iconic in some way and that the oh, deaths have to be different yeah and that it's got to be well something worth talking of, about a, a bunch of sex and pretty kids it's about stuff. worth something worth talking about right you know like this I can't there's nothing here that's worth talking about if this sex scene became one of the great cinematic sex <laughs> where you just like oh yeah. oh oh well no let's oh. say okay if it yeah. then maybe you would Wait have something back, back up a little bit let's say that's oh. that's Meryl oh. Streep then I can say something it's like hey well, hey Vince that's 1980 Meryl right. Streep by I the mean, way yeah. 1980 Meryl Streep isn't today Meryl Streep but, but 1980 Meryl Streep award winner she from won Kramer vs. Kramer yeah Kramer, the year before so she would be something okay. to talk yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I can go, oh, you get to see Meryl Streep's tits. Yeah. Then you would definitely go see it, right? Right? I, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you have some, to have I something mean, to talk about. This is a about. movie. Like, Maniac doesn't have that, but it has all those other things. Well, this. Oh, we get this. Texas. You want to talk about that? There's this sweaty, fat, shirtless <laughs> yeah. guy that just fucks everything and just does. Uh, oh! where, where, where do I get a ticket? Look at and his face. How many times can I see the movie? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, hey, look at how fucking now, weird he is. Now, get this. Okay. <laughs> you think that's him? He didn't know the camera was on. He's just uh, yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> when he's working out. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes. Love Why do you it. think that did so well? They One, got a lot of hot chicks in real. this. It's shot in a very yes. documentary okay. way. Two, they we were brilliant to have the intro where it was, but this we, is a true story. But we know. kept, oh, it's not a true story, is it? I know it's not, but they yeah. said it was. They yeah. didn't give a fuck. Yeah, they didn't give a fuck. So the other, thing, the other thing is we talk about it. Like when people came out of the theater, they were probably like, oh my God, it's so messed up. But it's not gory at all. 
There's not gore in it at all. There's very little blood in it. Yeah. There is very little blood, but there is gore. It's so it's just, brutal. It's though. not like, it's not gore in the moment in a yeah. lot of ways. A lot of it's like, a lot of it is the bones and the gore of what just well, happened. And Yeah, yeah, you see that. Yeah. yeah. The How effects. they prep the bodies. Man, she's a, she's, she's real looker. He is. That's a 1980s beauty right there. Yeah. <laughs> Went straight for the bedroom, huh? Mm. But what were you saying? So are you just saying oh, again? So all it is is word of mouth. Back then it was to make it successful was word of mouth. Mm. Maniac, the cover itself was should have been banned. Well, Maniac had the cover great was great publicity banned. because it had the really bad publicity, which yeah. is great publicity. Yeah, exactly. All those people, those uh, yeah. moms so, against Oh yeah, violence. Yeah, 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 violence yeah that's right. It was. That's they, right. They did they, all the ads uh, for it. I think it was M- Ma'am. It was yeah. Moms Against a, a something. Yeah, but it was yeah against violence against yeah. women or something. But um, it's really brutal. Like, you know, we could talk about that. We go, you have to see Maniac. This is more dramatic. It is. This is more nineteen seventies. I'm gonna make a really twisted, sleazy serial killer movie, but a drama, a human, yeah. a human. You missing out on the sp- on the smut? Oh. So you missed out on a shot of of some of a hand? Nah, it's somebody's hand in in her vagina. Yeah. <laughs> He's really good. He's really good. I could see how Clint Eastwood would see him. He was like, hey, I got a part for this guy. Oh, and he's great in the scene. Yeah. I mean, he pulls out the knife. He's like, time to carve me some wings. (laughs) He keeps calling them greaseball. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, he he loves it. He loves it. At least she's screaming. The other ones didn't scream. This is where he gets sleazy. Yeah, there you go. Greasy, sleazy. She's not really fighting, though. No. She's like, ah, <laughs> I love it. I love yeah, it. She isn't fighting at all. But you know, they picked a good guy, too, because he's so thick. You know, like, you could t- you can see that he could strangle Look somebody. That. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Whoa, yep. this is what girls do? They yeah. just come out like that? They yeah. just come out? Because she wasn't really worried coming out. That did nothing. Get her, too. Oh, God. I love it. Just for the price of one. Killed two of these topless girls. He can't photograph her, so. Oh, my God. Good Lord. But that's... They ran out of time. Either that or she started doing that and he had to go with her. What do you mean? So, he, he, that. Oh, she did that. Okay. He, let, he let go yeah, because yeah. he wasn't ready to end the scene yeah. yet, but she had already started doing that. So he, he <sighs> couldn't just go back. He just had to hold her down like yeah. that. That was because you saw he yeah. didn't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. got in his head because he <laughs> yeah. didn't want to reach back yeah. over because he cover said her. it, it would yeah. have already been. So he just had to act like it was planned to be yeah. like that. And also, like, the other hand would have blocked her camera angle right you know yeah so yeah that was weird that was really weird that, you could easily see it happen like look at these two knuckleheads it's like really Do you think he actually went to, um, I mean, this guy's been in Porky's and he's been in this. You think he actually went through a, an acting program or anything? To, this dude? Yeah. What do you think? Theater Popeyes. actor? Popeyes. Carl's Jr. Oh, I mean, like, in terms of, uh, like. Uh, uh, Taco you, Bell. What, what do you mean? He ate at all of this. Places. No, I'm saying, like, what do you think, do you think he really trained in acting? 
Oh yeah. The big guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. He he. Uh, he like a theater he, guy. You can tell this dude. Um, he trained in um, Carl's Jr. Um, uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> This, uh, you know, here's the thing. I think, I mean, look at it. Look at all those boobs. I think this dude. How do you think he got to start? I don't think he started off as an actor. I think he started off uh, just wanting to get in, into the business and people said, hey, you got a good personality. That's what it seems oh, yeah. like to me. Yeah. Because he does it. He seems like. Whoa, fuck. Now he looks like he's he's he, an, yeah. he, he goes he's a theater he's actor theater, you yeah. know too much <laughs> Yeah he looks See, like that's silly. he looks like he's got makeup on That's silly Like <laughs> See, he's not that good because no, he not. looked at the he camera, at the camera. And he's yeah. he, he's not really well. He just seems like an uh, old guy oh, that God. somebody said, hey, you know, you got a good personality. Yeah. Let's get you in. And that's Hollywood. There's some, you, you run into that. I mean, I've done plenty of movies and shorts where somebody was cast and they're not really an actor. And yeah. You just kind of deal with it. They're, they just got a, they got a certain look or personality but yeah that's a hard role to cast because what is what else are you gonna do just find a guy who looks like that and make sure he knows his lines you know yeah unless you go to like a you'd have to spend money because you'd have to find the right guy for that so like if they know somebody that's fairly okay they can do it right that looks sleazy because it's got to be a porno guy right Like a lot of the guys back then were char- like a lot of character actors, and you don't see this anymore. I know. This would be like Zac Efron and some other, and Jamie Bell, yeah, and like just good-looking guys. Nobody's losing their hair anymore. Nobody yeah. is looking, uh, you know, ten years Busted. older yeah. than they sh- yeah. they should, or maybe if they're supposed to look that old. I don't yeah. know. So, are we supposed to get the feeling in this movie that the serial killer is coming after her? No, I don't know. I think that the serial killer just taunting her is taunting her with because maybe I don't know. I mean, she doesn't have that sort of like fear of anything right now. No, I, yeah, um, yeah. She she doesn't. She's definitely not an actress. I mean, it, or if she is, she's a very. Oh, here we go. Look at oh, this. Yeah. Nice. Like, she, you know, like in the movies, the serial kill movies that we see today, they're mostly like the uh, the person being stalked right now is, is trying to get as much police presence around them as possible. Right. You know? Again, though, that just shows you the ineptitude. Well, it might be the times as well, you know? Of the filmmaking. And that's not a knock. It's just... There's a reason why this is this guy's first movie and last movie. Yeah. <laughs> There's just yeah. too much going on. There's too much going on. And that's the sign yeah. of any young filmmaker. They yeah. always want to put so Everything much into in it to show, yeah. like, hey, you know. But, no, you got to keep it as easy I, as possible. Maybe, I get the feeling also, he may have put his own money into this thing. He might have. You know what I mean? The, some of these locations look like they're, like, his apartment. His bar- yeah. <laughs> Houses. Or but, her yeah. place or something. This dude's not, he's okay. I mean, I don't really, he's too much, but oh, this guy right here is terrible. They're both this bad. Guy's, yeah, they are both bad. But the other, when you're bad and goofy, yeah. that's worse than oh, bad yeah. and yeah. serious, I guess. Yeah. Look how bad this guy is. Yeah. Ugh. Let's see, Ben Frank is the other guy. It's he funny. died young. I had headshots made uh, where I was dressed up like, not this guy, but the other guy. 
I I like have that. my brown leather jacket, my yeah. shirt, and a, a tie, like a cop look like that, with that leather jacket on. <laughs> it's like a 70s look, man. Huh. Why? Just to have a different character look. Because that's the thing now. Instead of just having regular headshots, actors have to have 20 different shots where you see me as right. a nurse, where you see me as a lawyer. Believe it or not, that guy that we've been mocking, the guy who's big, we think is too big, the leather Had jacket? A, yes. No, no, the other guy. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, the about? goofy dude. Um, He had a pretty extensive career. Okay. Yeah. What did he Guessing do? he learned from his uh, past mistakes here. So, he was in Death Wish 2 as a cop. Well, that's... <laughs> it's I, hey, look, I love oh, Death he was Wish in, um, too, He so. was in Foxes. You ever see that movie? Mm-mm. Never saw it. It's an interesting movie. It's Who's with a uh, it. Uh, fuck, what's her name? Um, <laughs> I can't believe Jodie Foster, a very young Jodie Foster. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Sherry Curry from The Runaways. When did she uh, end? 1980 movie. I mean, wh- when did this guy? Is this guy still working? Uh, no, he died. When? Uh, he died in 1990. Oh wow! So he was already. Yeah, died when 56, 56 years old, but of a heart attack. So he's 46 in this, because this is 1980. 1980, yeah. And he died at 56. 56. So one. He's 46. On the left, yeah. Yeah. And he died, well, he must have been a smoker or something. Head of the class, growing pains, a lot of TV. Who's the boss? Well, that's TV for you, though, at that time. Yeah. Over the top, you know, there was a lot of that. Comedy, and he is comedic. I mean, that's the thing. They were all one-offs, though. Like, he only did one. He wasn't a, a recurring character. You know? That right there is So he played the cops. That's an, uh, that's a, that's, that that life right there of a of an actor that's the tough life of, a, of an actor. Yeah, it's just you're just doing gig to gig yep. and gig to gig. Six hundred here, six hundred there. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a rough life because you have to keep a certain look. Yeah. Oh God. Oh my God. We never thought we'd see the doctor's uh, goods. Wait, did she bang the cop? No. It was a different girl, right? Yeah, it's... No, it was her. It is her? Oh, yeah. she had her hair back or yeah. something. <laughs> they all... It's... Feathered it's, look looks feathered. Yeah, the feathered look is... Yeah. is confusing. Confusing. Flo Lawrence is her name. You know, Rob Zombie is a big horror, fi- uh, horror film fanatic. She probably definitely watched this movie. Saw probably. her in it. What else was she in? Around this time, was she in some other... Uh, in 1980? Oh, let's see. Schizoid. Sounds like a horror film. It is. I've seen it. Uh, Hot Chili. Oh, the Naked Cage. <gasps> That's a woman in prison movie. Sounds and that like was it. one I was going to... Oh, wait a minute. That's I've seen that. Have you? She's the warden. Oh, is yeah. She the warden yeah, she is a warden. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mother. That's Known the mother. movie yeah. that I uh, went with, uh, uh, that we saw at the New Bev, me and Adam Fox. Okay. I was just talking the other night about that. The, the Naked, Naked Cage. Cage. That's sleazy. 1986, is it? Nice. Oh, the, I've been looking for that, and that's a tough one to find. Is it? That is sleazy. Good. I mean, they shoot I like up it. this one chick, and the, they force heroin into her. She's in it. She's the warden, and yeah. she is sleazy in that. Good. Man. We should do, We should try to find that one. I want to get the naked cage. Yeah, the naked cage. Yeah, that's Flo Lawrence. Well, then that's what he saw. That's what Tarantino saw. Was That was 1980s. I mean, he probably has seen Not Tarantino. This. Rob Zombie. I mean, Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie's yeah. probably seen all of it though. He yeah. He's he's like Tarantino in a lot of ways. This is his era as well. You know? Yeah. Like Devil's Rejects, all that has a seventies. Very vibe. yeah, late seventies, early eighties. Yeah. Late seventies, early eighties. I don't know. Growing up I've always thought like, oh God, I hope I never get back to the eighties because they look terrible. But now that I'm in, you know, twenty nineteen, the eighties weren't the they 80s look cool. do look the yeah. 80s early 80s look cool because everybody's wearing form fitting stuff. Yes. When it got into the baggy I mean Mid '80s with the Madonna kind of that's cool Van Halen yeah. because a lot of was, scarves yeah but as soon as it got to late '80s where it was just 
big yeah. and it was like big, <laughs> like bright and yeah. gross. That That's was yu- terrible. Well, those are yuppies. It you know, was just horror. I could never neon a lot of neon. You know that carried over to the nineties as In well. Early nineties, yeah. Because fresh prints, and, oh, yeah, it is. Zuba pants, zebra prints. Um, feathered hair is coming back too. I saw a little bit of that. Oh, it is. It definitely is. The Kardashians you see rocking that shit. Oh yeah. Damn. Bad lighting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Whoa. That's the doc, doc. Fuck me, man. Yeah. He finally got to her. <laughs> oh god. This that was just terrible. Yeah. That was This is where you can sense the 18th day. Yeah. Because they're just saying just done. put her on the thing yeah. and just get, get it her over done with. and that and he didn't know yeah. what to do. He was like Yeah. You know, he didn't know <laughs> to say anything or to, you know, <laughs> Well, something, something tells me there weren't that many takes and no. that much coverage. Not at all. Look at all those boobs. Yeah. Jeez. You know, people used to... <laughs> this is sleazy. People used to, It's very sleazy. People used to drop off their sex pictures at the photo mat. You remember those photo mats when people... Photo mats were those places where you used to drop off film and people would process it. Oh yeah, no, I've I've had nude pictures. Oh, I, I've had some sex <laughs> pictures back in the what day. What do you think they did? They duplicated. That, that she would get yeah. them developed. Oh yeah, and, no, we got them. Oh yeah, and we looked Both at them. them. You know they made a copy. Oh yeah, there, there's all we got both. Oh you, you did. Know? And if they made their own, good. They, made they get to keep that too. <laughs> they could watch some of that oh, shit. Look actions. at this. Look at this. So somewhere out there, somebody is jerking off to you. Mm-hmm. Always has been like that. Isn't that kind of creepy? That somebody always will be has seen that and had to color correct that and also print it and probably has a copy of it sitting somewhere. Back in the day, that was the awesome. good job. Uh, that was, That's but now it's all digital, anymore. so you don't have to do that you anymore. You can't do that anymore. What a shame. Perverts That's actually, out there lost their you know job. What? Yeah, they did. <laughs> that was the premise of Manhunter. You know, he worked at yeah, a photo map. he was a photo lab, yeah. except he wasn't. He wanted families. Coming across naked. He yeah. just saw family. Family, like, yeah. kill him. Family man. Oh, fuck. Guys has more hair on his chest than on his head. Yeah. He did his research. So, do you get the feeling that he so was... So, he went crazy because his dog shit on his grandmother's or- oriental rug. And his grandmother beat him? I guess so. Hmm. So, that's why he hates women? Because of his dog. Huh. Here you go. That is nice. intense. Nice. That was good. That was good. But did you, did he say something about like they sent me to a doctor for my ass? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. He had to say that's acting yeah. where you have to say that shit, but be serious about it. Oh yeah. I mean that's 
That's what he you, you his find, band until he was eighteen. Especially in horror movies, you find the actors don't take the script seriously, and the directors don't crack yeah. down. Yeah, and they're always in on the joke, and it's just please. Yeah, take a lesson from this dude. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's good. He is. It's impressive. He's look. He's, he's committed. He's committed, yeah. and he and he. He's big, but it works because he's such a scary dude. Yeah. It's like he's only going to play one thing, and that's going to be Out weird. of control weirdo. Yeah, weirdos, mm-hmm. but but he does it well. He does really well. He's like a big man-child. Like he, wow, very erratic. Plays good very erratic. Much. They only had this one angle here. <laughs> and then now this angle. What do you think they said when they yelled cut? Well, no, they he, he, they <laughs> didn't because he doesn't know there's a camera on right now. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> they just roll. Yeah, they they're on rolling. the other side of the, yeah. of the uh, reversible like, uh, mirror, and they're, they're saying, uh, just keep rolling. Yeah. Find shouldn't yourself we, a girl. Should we help her? Should we? No. Who? Just keep fucking rolling. <laughs> this is gold. Oh this my is God. cinematic gold. This is going to make us money. <laughs> yeah, this is, um, uh, regardless of the performances and everything, there is something very sloppy about the way this is put together. Yeah. And somebody once said in a script, um, if your lead character isn't in 90% of the movie, Chances are your story is going to be bad. He's only in it maybe. Either of these guys aren't even in it more than fifty percent, sixty percent at most, right? I would say that he definitely is. Not. The cop is is probably thirty percent of the movie. It's kind of weird, in. right? This guy, he's been in it for about half the movie, but so he's obviously the, not our. We don't. Is he? He's not our main character. He's not the main. Okay, so when you think about Maniac, he's in it for ninety nine. Oh yeah, he's in it percent. for the whole movie. Right. So yeah, Again, that, that it's makes sense. Simplifying. Yeah. 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 Exactly. We have to keep with your lead character as long as possible. It's a lesson to be learned there. Where's his partner? Oh, he stabbed him in the nuts. What the hell did he stab him with? I think he shot him. Oh, shot him in the nuts. Yeah. Shot his balls off. Fuck. Ah, that was so unsatisfying. That was the ending of the movie. Not yet. We'll, well see. Well, oh. now he's his balls are bleeding on the. Oh. Oh, he's just dying out right now. Yeah. Look at all that blood. Right in the balls. Yeah. I think that's it. He handcuffs him. That is, they ran out of time to do this movie. We got one day left. We've got to film the end of this movie. <laughs> hey, do you ever... Um, this is a 20-page day right here. 20-page day. Hey, hey, man, Texas Chainsaw did a 24-day. Blade, 24? we did 27 pages, 28 oh, pages in one day. God. On that Wednesday, oh, 28 Lord. pages. Lord almighty. 28 fucking pages over here. The whole so, fucking ending. Vin, do you ever do that thing? I've seen those actors do. I've seen actors do this a couple times to get it, their energy going. You ever run in place before a take? You ever do um, any of that? Ex, like I've done stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, oh, he's getting out. Maybe it's not the ending. Um, you know what I mean? Like they do I've that. Done, yeah, stuff. I've, I've, okay. I do stuff to get myself out of breath or yeah. to work myself up, depending on the scene. Yeah. I wish we would have seen something of his strength earlier. That way we know why, he, like how easy it is for him to choke to a woman that. to death. Well, to break the... And to break well, the no, chains. Well, no, we do. To, chake some, to choke a woman to death is, and Takes then and one, one, with one, one hand. hand you know? <laughs> with a couple of fingers couple as of he's fingers. falling down. So he's, we know he's strong. All and right. he's been lifting weights. Right. You know, We see that he's like this... Oh, dude, he's got ball blood on all over himself. And he's walking around like, like his dick and balls are still intact. Yeah. Jesus. Oof. The only time we get blood in the movie here. Wow. 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 
<laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> I like funny. it. I like it. What do you think the ADR is like? <laughs> oh, right in the poll. Yeah. Producer's poll. That's a cool ending, though. Uh, slow motion. Yeah. Right into the pool. <laughs> what was that earned? Yeah. I'll give it yeah. to him. It right. just it's but it mm-hmm. audio's creep. Yeah. Okay. Freeze frame. I like they don't hang around. I mean, what else can you say? Really? Just don't answer the phone. Don't answer the phone. Don't Bitch. answer the phone. Well, dummy. I mean, it, it's wow. Listen, yeah, it's a movie. Yeah, it's, it's ninety-four minutes it's long. It's ninety-four. I mean, look, that I, it, it, I am very surprised. I am pleasantly surprised with this movie. Yeah, sleazy. It was sleazy. Yep. I didn't. I didn't know if it would be. Yeah. He's pretty good. It's we got a good killer. I mean, yeah. he's memorable. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's definitely somebody that we'll be making fun of for a long time. Um, <laughs> and uh, but in a good way, you know, yeah. we'll be like, <gasps> yeah, you yeah. know. And um, I, I want to let the podcasters know that, or our commentary people know that you were flexing with your with like the weight was. above you <laughs> yeah. with the barbells. Yeah. But then, um, yeah. it's look. I thought it was. Oh, by the way, the fun. first assistant cameraman, Timothy Shurstead, Yeah. Uh, he was the cameraman for the Wedding Singer Ooh. with Adam Sandler. He is now an ASC member. So it took him about twenty something. Thirty. Years. Forty. Thirty years. years. Thirty. Yeah, thirty. Um, Sorry, that guys. Right there. That's a long. That's how long it takes in life, my friends. I'm looking at these other names. I don't. I don't know anybody else. I was thinking maybe I'd see somebody that was. Yeah. So uh, I'm sorry. You were saying. Ooh, it's 1979. So filmed it in 79. Wow. But see, Maniac was filmed in 79. I mean, like, they were both released. But their in copyright is 79. Scorpion production. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's a good, I mean, no no music at the end. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. kind of creepy like that. There's good things to it. Yeah. It's definitely a worthy entry in yeah. the, uh, if somebody were to say to me, hey, Hey, Ben. Can you give me some suggestions for, uh, you know, uh, sleaze serial killer movies? Yeah. I, I'd say, especially like 80s or, you know, fun stuff. I'd say yeah. Maniac. I'd say Don't Answer the Phone. I, said, you should, I would recommend, hey, you should see it. I would, I almost would recommend, okay, so what are they looking for? A good time? Well, no, just a. Because uh, Maniac, like, I don't ever, when I saw it at the. Look, Maniac's not a good time. It's not a good time. Right. This is not a good time, but it's fun. It's fun. It's more fun than than Maniac. Because you can make fun of it. But I would also say that if you, I mean, just his performance is creepy enough that that it's unsettling. There's unsettling moments in this movie. Oh, God. When they get choked out naked? Yeah. So I'd say, look, this, Maniac, this, obviously any of the slasher films of that time, I would suggest, you know. Yeah, one of the um, creepiest part about this is he's so functional. You know, yeah. like, you know, supposedly, according to them, he was good at photography. Well, listen, here's the other thing. He's pretending to be a photographer. Yeah. Maniac, Joe Spinell is pretending to be... Um, uh, Works at a... a like a, pr- a publisher for, for models or something. I mean, yeah. he, he, he's like a... High, he, he pretends to be a higher up. Yep. So they're vi- these are very similar movies. That's yes. why I say yes. if I'm glad we didn't do Maniac, we did this. Y- yes, Maniac is definitely has its own right, cult. has its own thing. But yeah. I wonder, did somebody that was making this n- get a, get a wind of what yeah. Joe Spinell and company was in, or was it vice versa? And Joe Spinell got. Yeah. I mean, they're on two it's different sides of the uh, the. Yeah. Uh, well, they're also the on two. Yeah, that's definitely true. I. But here's I don't know. A, I, I don't know. I, there's a there's an old saying, an old saying. There's a uh, it's the, it's just a mi- a myth. It's the what do they call it? Um, 
the idea cloud. Have you ever heard of that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it comes down to everybody can pick from it. When you, yes. Yeah. That, so it, it's basically the idea of the there. zeitgeist. Yeah. And when something Everything's enters the same. zeitgeist, yeah. everybody knows about Correct. it. It's a. Yeah. So if um, the general thought at that time was serial killers, that's on everybody's yeah. mind because people are hearing about so that. Normal. Yeah, they're all so normal. They all look so normal. You have the idea gets into people's brains. And so at the same time, you just have people making the same movies, yes. even though they don't know what the other person is just because they've yeah. heard the same stuff. They read the same articles, but you know, something interesting That's about this problem. one over maniac maniac. You never really understand him. You never get the, um, the psychology here. We do get the psychology. You get a little bit with Maniac, but not as much as this. And Maniac, he does. This is definitely. It is about his mom. And this he, is PTSD. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. But this, yeah. you really get into it because yeah. he describes a lot of yeah. stuff. He has a lot of Whatever, exposition. Everything that happened to him, right. you know, whatever it was. That, Maniac, you, you know, don't get really get the exposition yeah. it, but it, through him a little bit. It's really strange because it actually makes sense here, too, because he calls into that telephone, wait, radio uh, talk radio, talk radio um, psychologist. So it kind of makes sense that he would go after her. There's a certain level of like, there's a creepiness in that because they have their own stalkers. He becomes obsessed, but he also yeah. becomes like thinking she's the only person that understands. Him. Yeah. So Oof. there's a real extra yeah. obsession there. Yeah, exactly. Um, so don't answer the phone. Don't answer the phone, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> All it right. Was, it was yeah. sleazy and yeah. cheesy and greasy. It's exactly and good. what we wanted. That's yeah. So don't answer the phone is the new. Uh, That's an all star that goes yeah. up on the wall. The other thing, okay, I know this is sort of or, what's the word? This may be too stretching a little bit, but um, stretch it, stretch anytime it. you have a title that is basically longer than two words, tends not to be. I don't think it's that successful. Well, I'm glad I Do had you know this mean? out when you said. I'm glad you brought that up yeah. because at the same time that all we right. have don't answer the phone, we also have movies called. Don't look in the basement. Okay. Don't go in the house. So don't. Don't don't. Go, don't do this. Don't do that. Yeah. You have. Um, <laughs> well, what can we do? Then? You, you you have. Uh, house by the cemetery. Right. House on the edge of the park. Okay. A few years before, last house in the right. left. Right. How, you know. Yeah. So you have that. And then the stairs are connected to the, so the people under the stairs. Well, that room. was later yeah. on, but but I, I, yeah. it's the Either same. Either don't idea. do this. It, it's, or house of something or but there's other things too but yeah it's for whatever reason it became um it be, it was a good choice to have movies that it was the end thing to have these movies that were almost like sentences well house yeah. by the cemetery is a sentence almost yeah, yeah there's just that, not a well verb. that's a vincent price kind of influence Sure. Yeah, that don't was all in the stuff. house. Or I'm sorry, don't go in the basement. Let's, let's don't answer the phone. Let's go further back than that. It's uh, Edgar Allan Poe, Poe had those, you know, House of the oh, House Usher. of the Usher. Yeah. yeah. Usher, yeah. Usher, yeah. So it it did become something. Yeah, sentences, yeah. sentences that that. I guess we were much more patient with sentenced titles as well as we are with. And what's funny the, is you're seeing that come back. You're seeing yeah. how I've, yeah. I've I've seen. I know what you titles. did last summer. Well, that was not that was a few years ago. But I'm saying, if you go to Amazon Prime right now, you'll see new movies uh -huh. that, with that title. Yeah. With that titles like yeah. um, uh, "Don't Run Through the Cemetery at Night," yeah, and you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Like, th there's oh, movies. This used to, this was originally called the Hollywood Strangler. The title of this was originally called the Hollywood Strangler, which is pretty. Boring. The boring and well, because uh, you have the Boston yeah. Strangler movie, yeah. and you have plus it's on the nose. They well, they were going to use that because of the Kenneth Bianchi, Bruno, right? Yeah, as Hillside Stranglers, and they were and then going to it play became on don't them. answer the phone for some reason because at the same time you had don't go in the ba uh, don't go in the ba or don't go don't in the go house. In the <laughs> don't go in the house right. was actually one of the video nasties at, in 1980. So they What's were... What's the video nasties? The video nasties were a uh, group of movies that a lot of European countries and America, but I believe it started in Great Britain, banned. Oh, cool. So Faces of Death was a video nasty. Yeah, okay. Don't Go in the House was a video... There's a, a few of them. Wow. Because they there's were an considered so graphic okay. that you couldn't, see, you couldn't see the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre in Great Britain uh, for 
decades. Okay. It was the late 90s or early 2000s when yeah. they finally started playing that on TV. Anytime you ban something, it tends to become cult. People exactly. want to see something they can't see. Taboo. Yeah. And when you see movies like Faces of Faces Death, of Death so which are supposed to be documentaries. Oh, my not, God. Still, it's so fucking... A bunch of them do have real deaths in it. I just something yeah, I can never get behind. Yeah. When I was a kid, teenager... Th- they were the... They were cool. Like, I wanted to see them. They were creepy. Yeah. Because uh. it, because you're that young and you're faced yeah. with real death. Yeah, with what? real death. Yeah, exactly. Um. So, anyway, folks... Okay. Uh, Van Nuys was mentioned in this too. Van Nuys, the man. Isn't that great? Van, see, we yeah. pull it out, baby. We pull it out and wow. spork it all over you, what baby. A, uh, you love it. What a coincidence. It. And that's what he and kept you, saying. You called it, though, he too. You, you totally it. called it. You were like, that guy had to have lived in Van Nuys for him to say that shit. Oh, yeah. Because he kept saying, oh, you love it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Daddy loves it. Daddy loves it. I mean, he was sleazy. But Nicholas Worth, we... Love you. We love you, man. That was going to get a picture of you, a poster. That was fantastic. Of you, shirtless and sweaty, and put it on our shack wall. Yeah, it it definitely belongs on the shack wall somewhere. All right, folks. Thank you for listening. And again, we really appreciate you appreciate you listening. We do. So you know, give us some suggestions what you want to see a PL in the shack because we'll totally ignore it. That shit, yeah. (laughs) Because sleaze or cheese, we're here to please. On our knees with a lot of grease. See ya. <laughs>